What up, y'all? This is Mike Dean with First Step Travelers, and we're going to Florence. Yahoo! Woo! Yeah. Tensia. What? Where are we going? Florence. You didn't That's say it. hi. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine. It is bello da qui. Eh, molto bello da qui. Molto bello. Look, we just got here mm -hmm. in Firenze. Firenze. We are at Piazza della Mike Michelangelo. Piazzale Michelangelo. Piazzale Michelangelo, ragazzi. Piazzale Michelangelo. Si. Sì. Sì. <laughs> My head is in the way. See? Sì. Yeah. There he is. There he is. And there's the view. Come to Firenze for September. Ah, I was wondering where I left my two Ferraris. There they are. There they are. You can drive a Ferrari here, you know? I do know. That's my car. What do you mean? Get off from this car. Let's, let's do that whole conversation again. Ciao. Ciao. Abbiamo trovato posto. Bastardi. Exactamente. Yeah, yeah. Exactamente. Non tento per culo. So, culo. we've been driving around for an hour and a half and we just found parking. Mm. Ah. Adesso si paga, sai, Ciccio. Oh, Ciccio. 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 Bene, 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 bene. Florence, Florence, Florence. What can I really say that hasn't already been said? Florence is an ancient and beautiful city. So much history has happened here. And if you're coming to Italy, you have to see this place. I think my favorite spot in the city, which I reference many times, is the Duomo. You can definitely orientate yourself around the city just by seeing where you are in relation to the giant dome sticking out of the skyline. And there is always something going on around this humongous cathedral. Street performer, street art, you name it. There's even a few cool bars around. And it seems like every single building has amazing artwork on it or around it. Now I'm not going to speak too much right now on the sites here because I have an amazing tour guide to do that for you later. But I will point out that if you're in the city during the day, you should definitely go check out the Uffizi Art Gallery because inside there is so much artwork to see. And if you have time, head over to the Ponte Vecchio or the old bridge. This was actually the only bridge during World War II that wasn't destroyed. And there is so much trade that goes on here. It's a great place to see, especially if you're looking to buy jewelry. Let's go, baby. Go! But now with all that out of the way, let's take a tour of Florence by night. What up, travelers? So, everyone, you know... I let's start that up. <laughs> Alright, what's up, first-step travelers? Look. Everyone knows Florence is beautiful by day, but we're going to tell you a little bit about Florence at night. It's safe to walk around, it's beautiful to see, so check it out. With special guest. Hey. Delay. Ciao. The most amazing Florentine girl you'll ever meet. She was explaining something to me about Florence. Yes. Go ahead. In English? Yeah, in English. <laughs> so... Florence is divided in four parts. Each part has a color. So we have the green part, the red part, the light blue part, and the white part. I live in the white part. So the white neighborhood, go figure. The whites. <laughs> and there is a kind of football match called Calcio Storico, where they kind of play football, they basically punch their face. What? Yes, they fight all the time. And this year the whites won. <laughs> oh, the whites won, huh? Yes. Interesting. And now we are in the white part. Where we are you? Are walking uh, along the Arno River, mm -hmm. which is called Lungarno. We are headed to a gelateria yes. to relax and uh, get a look at the Ponte Vecchio. Oh, also Tom Hanks is here. Little side note. Guess he just. In the movie. <laughs> and she was in the movie. Just uh, he shot that movie Inferno, which will probably be out in 
on DVD by the time I put this video out, but he was here today. He said, make sure you like and subscribe to First Step Travelers. <laughs> His words, not mine, I didn't say it. He said it, so uh, make sure you subscribe. You'll see, you'll see the shout out in the movie too. He's gonna buy underwear at my shop, maybe. She's, he's gonna buy D-Lay's underwear. <laughs> nah, sounds weird, but okay. That's that's for sure. So we were gonna grab gelato yes. and watch the or look at the Ponte Vecchio, but Ponte Vecchio, but Ponte Ponte Vecchio, Ponte Vecchio, ma si fa freddo outside. Fa molto freddo. Fa molto freddo outside. Oh, that's a gelateria. Maybe we will get gelato. But definitely, okay, the Ponte Vecchio is really cool during the day with all the trading going on, but you should definitely come see it at night. It's picturesque. There is an artist, half Italian and half French, that modifies, how do you say that? Yeah. The signals with black men. They're hilarious. Yeah. What is this area? This area is a big shop area. If yeah. you're rich, you can go here for shopping. Yeah. Otherwise, you can look at the sky and look <laughs> at the buildings, <laughs> like we do. Yeah, because we po. We po vero. Si, si, si. There's Gucci at the end of the street. Gucci? Dolce and Cabana. Dolce and Cabana. Dolce and Cabana. Valentino, ragazzi. Is that expensive? It is. That's the street art of flirt. Little men hugging hearts or balloons sometimes. Yeah. Red balloons and red hearts. You see them everywhere? Yes. So what are these? I don't know. <laughs> street art? Yes. Uh, maybe because that's a gallery. Uh, I guess. Why is that there? I have no idea. <laughs> hmm. But we can check. So, where are we? The Uffizi Gallery. We have the Arno on that way. Which is the river. Yes, the river. And Palazzo Vecchio that way. You said people sing here at night? Always, always singing or playing music. Because of the acoustics? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Good old Donatello. <laughs> I think some of us know who this guy is. <laughs> Mr. David. My favorite guy. <laughs> yeah. Very famous statue, but this is actually a replica, right? Yeah. So a piazza is this? Piazza della Signoria. If you want to marry, but you don't want to, ma to marry in a church, you can marry here. Mm hmm. You trying to say something? Yeah. Do you want to marry me? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fiorenza is the old name of Florence. Oh, so this. Yes, and my grandma is called Fiorenza. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Just a quick side note from a local. From a local, yeah. The thing about Florence, Firenze, I like is you can just walk around at night. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> and then you just run into stuff like this. Welcome to the Duomo. This place I like very much. I used to come here all the time and just sit by the Duomo. Here comes a truck to ruin my shop. <laughs> Good old JJ's Irish pub. I mean, something about the square. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know anything about the square. Don't, don't put this on the video. <laughs> oh, too late. It's going on the video. <laughs> That's so bad. What's up, guys? So I'll go ahead and close out this video, but I will say that the Piazza della Repubblica used to actually be part of the ghetto in the city before they completely renovated the entire area. And it looks... Absolutely amazing. I love this place at night. A huge shout out to Cinzia and Dile for showing me around the city. I had such a good time and I miss you guys so much. I hope you guys are doing okay. So right after this, 
I'm actually heading to a small town on the Italy-Slovenian border called Trieste. So stay tuned for that if you want to see more about that town. And if you're enjoying the little street tour travel guides that I'm putting out here, make sure to hit that thumbs up, like and subscribe, share with anybody heading to Florence so they can get a good idea of what the streets are like. I love the city. I cannot wait to go back. And if you guys head out there yourselves, make sure to use the hashtag First Step Travelers on your journey so I can see what you all are doing out there. Like, subscribe, share, and take care, guys.